welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about conversions of fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. Now, let us review some of the key facts. about fractions and decimals. First is fractions whose denominators are 10, 100, 1000, etc. are called decimal fractions. The numbers written in decimal form are called decimal numbers. Third is the number of digits in the decimal part is the number of decimal places. And when we multiply a number by 10 or powers of 10, then the decimal point is shifted to right hand side by as many places as there are number of zeros. So let us see an example. Here. 3.596 into 10 will be equal to, now you can see here, there is one zero, so the decimal point will be shifted by one place to the right hand side, and the result will be 35.96. And when we divide a decimal by 10, of powers of 10, then the decimal point is shifted to the left hand side by as many places as there are number of zeros. Now let us see an example. A 546.72 divided by 100 will be equal to now in 100 there are two zeros. So this decimal point will be shifted by two places to the left hand side. So the result will be 5.4672. Now let us discuss the conversion of fraction to decimal by division method. Now a given fraction A over B can be expressed as a 
the decimal by simply dividing a by b. Now decimals are of two types, terminating and non-terminating. Now non-terminating decimals are further classified into two forms. One is non-terminating repeating decimals. And second is non-terminating, non-repeating decimals. First of all, let us see what are terminating decimals. Now, in the process of converting a fraction into decimal, By the division method, if we obtain a zero remainder after a certain number of steps, and the division process terminates then the decimal obtained is called the terminating decimal. Now let us see one example. In this we have to convert the fraction that is 7 by 8 into decimals. Now for the solution we will simply divide the numerator by the denominator. Now 7 is not divisible by 8, so we will put 1 0 here and 1 0 here and on subtracting it will give 7. Now we will put 1 decimal here and 1 decimal here in the quotient. After this we will put 1 0 on the right of dividend and 1 0 on the right of remainder. Then 8 into 8 is 64 and on subtracting it will give 6. Then in the next step we will put 1 0 here on the right of dividend and on the right of remainder. Then 8 into 7 is 56 and on subtracting it will give 4. Now in the next step put 1 0 on the right of dividend and 1 0 on the right of remainder. And 8 into 5 is 40. And on subtracting, it will give a zero remainder. So we are in the process of converting a fraction into decimal. This division process terminates. That is, we are getting a zero remainder. So this decimal is called a terminating decimal. Therefore, 7 by 8 is equal to 0.875. Now let us see what are non-terminating decimals. Now in the process of converting a fraction into decimal, when the division process never ends or A zero remainder is not obtained, then the quotient obtained or the decimal obtained is called the non-terminating decimal.
Now, if a block of digits repeat without end, then it is called a non-terminating repeating decimal. Now let us see an example here we have to convert the fraction 4 by 11 into decibel. Now in the solution we will simply divide the numerator which is 4 by the denominator. Now 4 is not divisible by 11, so we will put 1 0 here. And on subtracting it will give 4. Then we will put 1 decimal in the dividend and 1 decimal in the quotient. Then we will put 1 0 in the right of dividend and 1 0 in the right of remainder. Now 11 into 3 is 33. And on subtracting it gives 7. Now again put 1 0 on the right of the dividend and on the right of the remainder. Now 11 into 6 is 66. And on subtracting it gives 4. Now again put 1 0 on the right of dividend and on the right of remainder. Now 11 into 3 is 33. And on subtracting it gives 7. Now again put 1 0 on the right of dividend and 1 0 on the right of remainder and 11 into 6 is 66 and on subtracting it gives 4. So in the same way we will continue and this division process never ends. Therefore 4 by 11 is equal to 0 0.3636 36, and so on. Now here we are observing that 36 are repeating in the quotient. So a repeating decimal is expressed by putting a bar on the block of digits that repeat. That means it can be written as 0 0.36 bar. So this is called the non-terminating repeating decimal. Now next, if the digits do not repeat and the division process never ends then the quotient obtained is called non-terminating non-repeating decimal. For example, pi which is equal to 3.141592653583 and so on. So here you can see that the division process never ends and the digits do not repeat. Now let us see how to convert decimal to fraction. Now there are two cases. Case 1 is when the decimal is terminating. Now when the decimal is terminating, then in the first step, 
we remove the decimal point and write the resulting number in the numerator. And in the second step, write 1 in the denominator and annex as many zeros as the number of digits after the decimal point in the given decimal number. Now let us see an example. Here we have to convert 0 0.53 into fraction. So in the solution, 0 0.53 will be equal to now in the first step, we will remove the decimal point and write the resulting number in the numerator, which will be 53. Now there are two digits after the decimal point. So in the denominator, we will write 1 and we will index as many zeros as the number of digits after the decimal point. So the number of digits after the decimal point are 2. So we will index two zeros here. So the required fraction is 53 by 100. Now let us discuss the second case when the decimal is non-terminating, repeating. What is in the first step let the decimal be x. Then in the second step, uh, remove the bar and write the repeated block without using bars. Then in the next step, multiply both sides by 10 if there is one digit in the repeated block Multiply by 100 if there are 2 digits in the repeated block by 1000 if there are 3 digits in the repeated block. Then in the next step we will solve the equations which will be obtained by the step 2 and step 3 and then we will find the value of x. Now let us see one example. In this, we have to convert 0 0.205 bar into fraction. Now, let us start with the solution. In the first step, let x is equal to 0 0.205 bar. Now, in the next step, write this decimal without the bar. So it will be 0 0.205, 205 and so on. And put this as equation number 1. Since there are 3 digits in the repeated block, so we will multiply equation number 1 by 1000 on both the sides. So we get 
1000x is equal to 205.205 and so on. And let it be equation number 2. Now subtracting 1 from 2, we get 999x is equal to 205, which implies x is equal to 205 over 999. Therefore, 0 0.205 bar is equal to 205 over 999. Now let us discuss the shortcut method to convert these type of decimals into fractions. In this method, write the repeated figure that is repeated block once and write as many lines in the denominator as the number of repeated digits. For example, 0 0.205 bar can be written as now here we will write the repeated figure which is 205 once in the numerator and in the denominator we will write as many lines as the number of repeated digits. Now the number of repeated digits are 3 so we will write 3 lines in the denominator. Now let us see one more example. Now 4.23 bar can be written as 4 plus 23 over. Now there are 2 digits in the repeated block. So we will write 2 lines here. On solving this will be equal to 490 by 99. But this method is not applicable to the numbers in which the repeated block starts after one or more than one digit after the decimal point. For example, 4.24 4 bar. Now here the repeated block starts after one digit after the decimal point. Therefore the shortcut method is not applicable to these type of decimals. So in this session you have learnt about conversions of fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.